Welcome back to Smoking Jay's Garage. Today we are going to do an oil change on a 2014 Lincoln MKX. This vehicle calls for 5W20 oil, 6 quarts of it, which we have over here. We also have an oil filter. I am going to be using a K&N oil filter. That is a HP-2011. That's the filter that you need. K&N also comes with a little sticky that you can put on your windshield which uh, you'll write down your mileage for your next oil change so you know when you're due again. Uh, you will need a 15 millimeter wrench. You can use an open end box end wrench or you can use a uh, ratchet, whatever's easiest for you. But I'll show you where that goes when we get underneath. And this vehicle actually has a very accessible oil filter, which you can probably use by hand. You can get to it very easily by hand. You can probably unscrew it by hand. You may need a wrench if you cannot get it by hand. So we're going to head underneath the car and I'll show you what you got to do. Oh, also you're going to want uh, somebody to put your oil in, obviously. All right, let's head underneath the car. Right here is your drain plug. You are going to want to loosen that up. That's where your 15 millimeter wrench comes in handy. And you are going to want to have your uh, dish, whatever you're putting your oil in, ready. This one's a little bit tight. If it is tight, Make sure that you're going the right way. In this case, we are actually going the right way. And uh, this one's a little bit stripped. But there we go, we got it. I'm gonna loosen this up, make sure that our oil pan is under here right. I like to keep firm tension on it as I'm unscrewing so that when uh, it's unscrewed all the way, I can just pull it out and uh, I don't drip a lot of oil in my hand in the meantime. There you go. We'll let that drain. One of the advantages of having your oil changed at a professional place is they're typically going to check your other fluids, but that is not hard for you to do. We already went around and we checked the air pressure, filled it up to 35 pounds, uh, which is what this vehicle calls for. Uh, we're also going to check our coolant, we're going to check our windshield wipers, and we are going to check our brake fluid. And I've already looked at them and they are all low. So we're going to uh, top all of them off. Our, uh, if you come over here and you look, you got a cold. Now our engine is cold. So you can see the line where it should be. You can see the line where it actually is. Now, depending on what coolant you have in, you have to match or do a better coolant. You cannot downgrade. So green, yellow, and orange are the, are the, the different grades that they have. We are going to use orange because I don't know what she had in here prior. It looks kind of orangish though, but if you have orange, that's the best one. You cannot use yellow and you cannot use green because those are not as good. But we are going to use this one, so we're safe no matter what she had in this vehicle. A hard time seeing where we at. So we're almost up to the cold line. I'm just gonna probably dump the rest of this in here. It might be a little too much. All right, we're right at the cold line. That's perfect. Make sure we got our cap back on tight. And we're gonna top it off with windshield wiper fluid, or windshield washer fluid as well. I'm gonna try to pour this without making a mess. It's pretty windy today, so I'm gonna try not to let the wind catch this. These are all things that you can be doing while your oil is draining. So it doesn't really add any time to your oil change, especially if you have these things on hand. We're getting close to the top here. So I'm gonna slow this up. I have a uh, gallon jug that has just a little bit left in it. So I'm gonna leave myself just a little bit of room so that I can empty out that other jug. Now the other thing that we want to check is our brake fluid, which if you look over here, you can see we've got a maximum. I don't see a minimum on here, but typically there is a minimum and a maximum. You can see that the level is right here and maximum is right here. That is low. We're going to put some in. This vehicle requires either DOT 3 or DOT 4 brake fluid. I have DOT 3. That's what we're going to put in. Make sure that you clean the cap off before you pull it off so that you don't get any dirt or anything in there. Clean off the cap, clean off the area around the cap. And this is actually very hard to get to. 
So uh, a regular funnel that I had, I couldn't get to fit in there nice. This is the funnel that came with this vehicle for the gas. I'm going to use it, but you are gonna wanna wipe it off, clean it off good before you put it back in the trunk and use it for gas, potentially. So we're gonna pour a little bit in here. And this is, uh, this is brand new, I've gotta pop this open. Clean brake fluid is typically clear, so it may be a little bit hard to see. We're going to keep an eye on it till we get to the max. And there we go. We are at the max. We're going to put our cap back on. Make sure we put our cap back on tight. And that was about long enough that we should be able to go back underneath the car and we should be just about done with our oil dripping. So we're gonna check that out in just a second here. Now, uh, we wanna take off the cap, our filler cap off. That'll help us drain, it'll give us airflow. Uh, we wanna clean off our oil plug and we wanna check the condition of it. You see that rubber seal in there? That looks like it's in good shape. This is an example of one that is not in good shape and should be replaced. Uh, Lincoln did not offer these caps from the factory with a um, magnetic drain plug, but if you, add, if you added one, you want to check and uh, see if there's any metal or anything that is on the end of that. That would indicate you may have a problem that needs to be looked into. But this one was not, uh, we didn't have any metal on it, it's not magnetic. But it is in good shape, so we're going to crawl back under there, we're going to put it back on, I'll show you where the, air fil the, where the oil filter is, and we're going to pull that off next. All right, we're gonna put this on obviously just the way we came off. I like to put my index finger on it, keep pressure, and then use my thumb and middle finger to screw it on, at least until I know it started. Uh, if I get just a little bit of oil there, that is still a tiny bit of dripping, I'm just gonna wipe that off after the fact. Once I've got that in just hand snug, I will move my uh, oil thing out of the way, and uh, we're gonna tighten this up snug. There we go. If we over tighten it, we can uh, risk ruining that seal so we don't want to. Now right here is your oil filter. Very easy to get to. I can probably move this one by hand. I can. Uh, but just for reference, if you've got a wrench and you can't move yours by hand, uh, if you've got a wrench this style, just slip it on there like so. And as you turn it, it will tighten on itself. And we're going to make sure that we pull our... Thing over here we're gonna pull this straight a lot of oil is gonna come in out of here so again we're gonna keep a little bit of upward pressure on it as we uh, turn although we're still gonna make a mess uh, you're probably gonna want to have a rag ready for there we go uh, I like to dump it out right away and then I'll just set it there have a rag ready so that you can wipe your hands when you're done with that and I will let this drain for a few minutes we always want to put a little bit of oil around this seal. We also want to make sure on the old one that this seal did not stick to the car. It is on the filter. Because this filter goes straight up, I am going to put some oil in it. I'm not going to fill it up full, but I am going to do it about half full, which a lot of that filter is going to soak up because obviously your oil pump pumps from the uh, filter. So we want to get as much oil in there, otherwise you've gotten really nothing to come from. It goes from the filter, it goes through your engine. So if there's nothing in your filter, then uh, you're really not pumping any oil, at least for a short time until we get there. So that's prepped and ready to go, and now uh, we should be drained. All right, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna double check that yes, that uh, seal is still on this one, so that means it is not on the vehicle. We're done dripping. And this just lifts straight up into place. Put it up there. thread it on and you're going to put it hand tight but good and snug by hand there we go now if you have your rag and you have any spots of oil that you might have that you spilt a little bit or whatever 
wipe those off make sure everything is in good shape so that if we start to leak later on we know that we have a problem not just uh we didn't clean up underneath okay so let's make sure we pull out everything underneath the car i've got it on a, a two by six because i give me a little bit more room to uh get a camera under here and myself but before we top it off with oil we're going to want to pull it out because we want it to be parked pretty level but we can uh, put the majority of the oil in first before we do that just slide everything out This vehicle takes six quarts, or at least that's what Lincoln says, so I can pretty confidently dump in this five quart, and then I will take it off of the uh, boards that I'm parked on, and then we'll check the oil, and we'll go ahead and add an, uh, roughly another quart is what we'll need to do. That will give us a little bit of time as we drive off of here for the engine to run and fill up the rest of that oil filter, and then we'll know exactly how much we need. Try not to spill that. We backed off of our boards. That gave our engine a, a second to run, fill up our oil filter. Uh, make sure that when you back off, you put your cap back on. Anytime you start your engine, you don't want to do that with your cap off. I added an additional quart. That is what we thought we needed. And let me wipe this off the first time so we get a good reading. And there we go. We are right at the full line. So that is going to be how you change your oil on a 2014 Lincoln MKX. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Or if you're watching this channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to, boom. Please subscribe.